Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, it's TV OS 13 Beta 2. Let's go! First thing first, guys, I need to thank Michael Schlesinger and also Luke Tech Essentials TV. Guys, thank you very much for commenting on the, uh, the previous video, the TVOS 13 Beta 1, which I'll post up here somewhere. Um, you guys pointed out that I'd made a couple of mistakes in the last video. I'm okay learning about mistakes and uh, you know, I'm happy to have those comments. So first of all, thank you very much for those guys. What they highlighted to me was that on TVOS 13 Beta 1, there is actually a way of uh, getting to the different profiles. So I'm just gonna take you through that first, of all, first and foremost. Then I'm gonna take you on to the Beta 2. Um, so let's jump straight back into it. Um, the changes first and foremost are this bar here across the top of the screen. Um, these are new icons um, and they do when you hover over them you'll see that the uh, screen at the top will actually start activating and doing things. So there we go there's Ed again, happy Ed bouncing around and whatnot. Um, the other thing that I want to show you is if you pop down here into settings and then go to users and accounts, this is the bit that I missed, go into users and accounts you can then add a new user and you can swap users in here too. So my current user is me. Um, you can swap to uh, whoever you want to change to. This is very much like the Netflix, so I'm swapping to my son's account and I can swap back. Um, what you can also do is add a new account, a new user, and you do that by um, uh, putting in your Apple ID uh, and password and you can add a new user. Coming out of here, what you can also do then using your controller, you can press and hold the uh, this uh, TV button and you get this sliding in bar that comes in. It tells you the date and the time. And you can go up to the top here and you can swap between uh, your users. So there's, there's Benjamin and this will show his items. And then there's me. Now one thing I have noticed is that the music app, um, it shows the music that was playing regardless of account. So that's interesting to know. Um, also the other thing that has changed is the, uh, the music. Uh, application has changed as well. So this is a new style, new lookout from a uh, new layout from uh, from before. As you can see, it's completely different. Anyway, those are the things I missed. So thank you to those guys, uh, Luke Tech TV uh, and Michael. I really do appreciate you commenting on that. Without further ado, Beta Two is out. It came out yesterday. I'm going to download it now. Do a quick, you know, montage, sort of five, ten seconds, just quickly downloading that, and then we'll see what's different in Beta Two. Let's do that. Software updates, update software, see if it updates, download and install, here we go. So we're currently on 17J5485S and the new version should be downloading. Now I have seen on the forums that people had some problems downloading this. Um, and if they do, there's uh, an example of how you can actually fix this. So if you've got problems with downloading, what you need to do, you need to reset the Apple TV 4K, you need to get it working again, so sign into cloud, sort out the Wi-Fi, etc. Run the Apple Configurator 2 Beta uh, on your Mac, repair the Apple TV 4K with the computer, install the profile with the freshly paired Apple TV 4K, restart the Apple, Apple TV and check for software updates. This way you can then download the Beta 2 if it doesn't work for you, so hopefully that'll help. Um, this has got one minute remaining and uh, we'll just restart in a few seconds and we'll see what's there in beta 2. And there we go, beta 2 is on. Let's just do a check on the version. Let's go down. Trying to go down. There we go. I had this before that you have to press the button to connect it. So down to settings. Uh, let's have a look at system, see what version we're on. So this is beta 2, 17J5501i. Uh, okay, so just remember that guys, if you're trying to get it. I've left automatic updates off at the moment because of uh, like the last time I, I missed a couple of things, I'll make sure I don't miss anything. Come out of here. Let's first of all go to TV. Go to our library because we own this. For a few seconds I could have it playing. There's meant to be picture in picture. Bottom right hand corner is meant to be picture in picture. Why do you never get it around the menus? I want to try that. So I'm going to start a film and let's not do aliens because there might be other people watching. Let's try Lord of the Rings. 
we'll play that. And then once it starts playing, we'll drop back to the menu and see if it does picture in picture. Hmm. Well, it's not doing it there. Ah, how do you do that? There it is, it's there. There we go. Picture in picture. Now, interesting, it's still running in the bottom right hand corner. Can you see that, guys? Uh, that's the start of The Lord of the Rings. Um, let's come out of there for options. You can press the, uh, the TV button for options. You can go full screen. I don't know what that option is. Oh, it moves it around to four corners. Yeah. Okay, let's pop it down there again. You can hear the sound still on in the background. You can make it full screen. Uh, let's come out of there. Let's leave that running. Uh, let's now see if the screen savers are on there. Now, interestingly, I'm pushing this button to go back out. When you go to the screen saves, it stops working. Okay, that's so picture in picture is now on there. Let's scroll along. Let's see if the underwater screen saves are on there yet. They don't appear to be. So let's nip into the settings, see if there's any extra options for the screen saves. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Still running in the background. Um, so let's go to general uh, screen saver. Is there any other screen saves in here? Uh, only aerial at the moment. I'm assuming that that's going to change to be underwater or BBC, something like that, but it's not there at the moment. Um, is there anything else that's obviously changed? Let's quickly keep in there, download a new video daily. Uh, that's fine, leave that going. Appearance of light, you can obviously go light and dark. Uh, can't see anything else obvious. This hasn't changed. Let's see if the arcade's there. It's still coming soon, so that's not there yet either. Let's check the music. And this is all exactly the same, nothing obvious on there. And let's try, as we did a moment ago, holding in this button. So has anything changed over here? Hmm, not that I can see. Not playing music. That's interesting. So that's not working. Let's swap accounts, let's see if that does anything. No, that doesn't do anything either. Let's do a search. And it just takes you to all of the things that you can watch or have been able to watch on your tvOS. So from what I can gather so far then, um, it looks to me like the picture in picture is the new feature they're trying to add, which is actually quite kind of neat. Um, so if you go to the TV, uh, let's, try, let's try something different. Let's try Iron Man. Uh, resume that. That now works. Now how do you get it picture in picture? So you scroll up using the, uh, the controller here, click on the button and it goes to the little screen. You can move it around, we know how to do that and you go back to full screen. So that is how to do picture in picture. Well that's it for today. Um, hopefully you found it useful. Just a quick update into tvOS 13 Beta 2. Once Beta 3 comes out, I'll, uh, I'll update you on there. Look at that big line above me. There's Tony. Hi, Tony, in the background. If you've got any questions or queries, please post them below. I thank you so much for watching Dubri's Day, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.